946 on this Saturday morning. Time to have a little bit of fun. Carl Nelson is here from the Imagination Station and you brought some funky new new glasses. Glasses. For you. Thank you. Exactly. I'll put these on. Looking styling. What are we doing today? I brought with me hydrogen peroxide. Okay. You probably have this in the medicine cabinet at home, right? Absolutely. What yep. do you do with it? Uh, put it in a cut. Yeah. You know, clean things off. Right? Doesn't doesn't really work that effectively for killing bacteria and cleaning out cuts. Oh. Actually, check out our, our Facebook right. page. I put a posting up there about how it doesn't work that well. Yeah. But one of the things it does do here, I have a hunk of raw liver. If you could oh, good. just go ahead and hold that. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Your, your body as a part. I know. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Your body as a part of metabolism actually generates hydrogen peroxide in its cells. Okay. And it's very strong oxidizer, you want to get rid of that hydrogen peroxide, there's something called catalase. It's an enzyme in your body mm -hmm. that will break down the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen gas. Hmm. So beef liver actually has catalase in it, and when you squirt the hydrogen peroxide on, just like on a cut, mm -hmm. I assumed you didn't want us to like cut you or anything <laughs> to show how this works, right? It generates oxygen gas, okay? okay? And you know, it looks really impressive, like it's doing something, but again, it's kind of a myth that it actually kills any sort of bacteria or cleans the wound out. Oh, good um, to know. But you can do something really cool with this. You can drop the liver okay. now. That's, we're, done, we're done with that. Okay. <laughs> um, so what I brought with me is 35% hydrogen peroxide. This oh. is 10 times stronger than what you have at home, hence the gloves and the glasses. You don't want to get this on your skin. Okay. And it gives off oxygen gas if you give it a catalyst, like catalase, mm -hmm. or I brought a different catalyst with me. Now it's really cool because it can generate enormous amounts of oxygen gas. So we're going to trap that oxygen gas in some soap. Okay? Okay. We'll do a nice little squirt of soap in yours. I'll do one in mine. And what we're going to do is simply pour a catalyst into this container of hydrogen peroxide. We'll break down the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen gas. Now, since we have soap inside here, we're hoping for something kind, is this gonna explode? kind, okay. kind of dramatic. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I don't know. We, and here, you know what? Go ahead and hold this. Do I need to step back here? No, no, stay right where you are. But let me do mine first. Let's, okay. let's do a little test here. See what mine looks like, and then you can try yours. Mm -hmm. So that's the technique. Just dump it right in and see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so. Whoa, We're releasing okay. lots and lots of <laughs> lots and lots of oxygen gas. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and do yours now? Yours is a little bit different container. It's got just dump it in really quick. Okay. Perfect. Yours is like more, of a <laughs> and you just generate tons and tons of oxygen. It's being trapped by the soap. Wow. Okay? okay, it's like a supersized version of what kind of happens when you pour it on your body. Sure. Where that catalase enzyme breaks it down. But again, we're not actually cleaning anything, well, if you will? Technically, the hydrogen peroxide, when it generates this oxygen, can kind of dislodge big hunks of stuff that okay. might be in a wound. Mm -hmm. But in terms of killing the bacteria, it's not really all that effective. Sure. Okay. But it is. If you stick your hand over that, you can feel it's giving off some, some, oh, some heat. Oh, some heat. Yeah. It's an exothermic reaction. So it gives off a lot of heat when it breaks down. And it's just really cool. So where would you see something like this, this concentrated? If you wanted to be a peroxide blonde, we could add some oh. to your hair. Okay. okay. Well, I would, that's where you get that term from. <laughs> um, it's used for uh, bleaching wood pulp to make white paper. It's a little bit more oh. environmentally friendly than bleach. Okay. Um, it's used in all sorts of industrial things like that. Nice. But as an interesting uh, demonstration, it's also kind of cool to just to generate an excess of oxygen gas. I thought that you were going to fill up the entire screen. They wouldn't <laughs> see us anymore. <laughs> well, and you can see it's, it's, I mean, it's still going. I mean, it's still, yeah. it's still generating a tremendous amount of oxygen for the volume of liquid that we started with. Carl Nelson, you never cease to amaze me, and I learn something new every single week. That's this week's Imagine It, and I'll tell you what. You guys are open today if somebody wants to come down there and enjoy, correct? Actually, we're closed. You are closed. We are closed right I'm now. sorry. We'll be opening up next week. Check out our website for oh, dates. Oh, awesome. Okay, we're closed for like three weeks, so we can do a little cleaning <gasps> and adding some new things. Ah, uh, see, I'd love to hear that. Okay, well, then they're going to be open then in just a few weeks. Not open today, but if I know Carl Nelson, that means he's planning something pretty <laughs> awesome down there at the Imagination that's Station. That's right. We're getting prepared for reopening. Well, as this continues to rise, we're going to disappear here in a moment. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this week's Imagine It. We have another check of that forecast when we return.